Hello! Welcome to my fishing camp tucked away up here in the mountains of Virginia. It's a beautiful morning and I noticed a ton of grasshoppers. Well, they've all been bouncing around, jumping around, enjoying this beautiful spring day, jumping in the water. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get in touch with George at Fun With Flies Bug Center. Then I want to see if he could tie a few of them for me and send them up here so I can try them. Well, it looks like he's ready, so let's visit him and see how it's going. Hi, this is George. Welcome to Fun With Flies. Today we're going to be doing a grasshopper. So let's get started. What we want to do is uh, wrap this beyond the hook. We want to get the thread on here as close to the bend as we can. Doing the measurements, I'm going to right about here. Okay, so a little, a little past the eye, and right about to the bend you made right there. Now what I want to do is I want to cut out a rectangle. But what I'm going to do is, using my angled scissors, kind of cut it off. It's more like the shape of a bullet. And this guy's a little big right there, so it's a little bit smaller. Yeah, just like this. Now we're gonna taper one side down on the back. This is pretty good right there. Clean up a little bit of the head in here in the front. All right, so. When we're done here, we're kind of looking at this. Keep cleaning it up a little. Okay, so right like this. We're going to place it here. Now we're going to take some glue. And we're going to run the glue about a third way up the shank. And some light. And I'll show you why a third way in a minute. Let's uh, get some of the spare glue off there. So when you're tying, when you're we're tying in the back, tilt it up and you want to pinch it right to the back and using a nice light wrap. We're not trying to bend the foam. And we're not trying to break the foam. We just want a nice wrap. Make it sure to go up the same distance. The reason why we weren't glowing is we're gluing, coming underneath here. One more. Okay, easy enough right there. So right about here, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the hind legs. Okay, so the hind legs, what I like to do is, uh, these rubber legs you can get online on Amazon. They're great. Uh, I think it's 10 bucks, 11 bucks, you can get a whole bunch of them. They come in one single sheet, which is perfect for what, what I'm doing. So what you want to do is you want to hold it in your hand. 
And you want to go about on this one, I go about to the third one, nick it off, and it'll let me separate just three of them. So once I have three separated, right here, if you, I think you did see the three, the tie knot. and tight. You come up a little bit again about the distance of my thumb. I know they're not. You come about the distance of my again my thumb. And I cut it off. Now on this guy's legs what we're gonna do is do this just like I was doing I'm gonna remove one of the strands from the middle. So basically, or one of them from the end. So what I'm gonna do is separate the one, just like that. I think the hardest part about doing a, doing a grasshopper and a cricket is the same thing. So it's, you can tell it's not very difficult. On a smaller side, okay, so we're gonna do be his leg here, or we're gonna do his leg here, let's see. I like this one better, so let's do this foot here. I want to leave one strand. I'm going to separate them, and I'll leave. Just to stay consistent, we can leave the middle one. So again, put it on your finger. Through. Like that. Pull it apart. Get the middle one out. So here's our first one. What we want to do is make the same one again. Go over here. Okay, go about the thumb distance again. Now before you pull it tight, you know, make sure your, your distance is right. Like right here, if I pull it tight, that's way off. So what we want to do is come back here a little bit. Just to eventually, you mess around with these long enough, you're going to you'll kind of pick it up and how you want to bend them. So that. Okay, so this, let's see which side, which one makes a good leg. This guy right here. So just like we did before. Again, the last part of the leg, we're going to keep the middle one. All right, so we got the same leg in here. We got the same leg. And if we're looking at that up here, we got our two nice legs. So turning this over, doing the leg toward me, closest to me, which is the right leg. We get a nice angle right here. And give them two wraps. Any kind of adjustments we want to grab right now. Over on this side. Two wraps, nothing tight. Make sure we're that where we want it. Touch them right there. Bring it in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do here then is now I'm going to trim it. 
And then I want to hit it with a little, little head mm -hmm. cement. Just to kind of keep it in place. Dry nice mm -hmm. and fast. Okay, so that's it for the hind legs. Now we got the front legs. So I wanna I'm gonna pick his pick him back up because I only glued the third of them. So I want to add a little more glue. Not a lot. I want to get to the head part. I'm not actually gluing the head in. So I'm gonna get to here. Push it down. I think from here we're going about to where the body ends. This time I'm pulling a little tighter, doing a few extra wraps. I want it because what it's going to do is force the head to come up on an angle, so it's just like that. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Now I have my strands here. I have a single strand, and we're going to tie these in probably like uh, like you tie in most of most of your bug legs. It's just tying a single one, like you're tying spiders and things like that. So you see me do this. You watch my videos, you see me just all the time. It's just a simple wrap. Pulling it down through here. Make a little bit toward the bottom. Don't you like it there? He's good there. So let's turn him over here and get there. I always just make him real big. I just grab whatever piece I have. Okay, so let's put a little piece of head cement in right there. Now we're going into the wing. Uh, well, while we're here, we can go ahead and trim these back. Be really careful not to clip your thread. Okay, so now we're on to doing the wing. So what I'm going to do is measure off a piece for the wing. Which I want to go a little bit from the back of the body. To a little past the tail. So it's easy to use. Pull this out. As you see, it's a nice stuff, makes a great way. Right. Before, it's very fragile, it's easy to work with. Okay, we get just a basic wing shape here. And I'm going to do a set on here. Let's see over here. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. So now here, I'm just going to use a little piece of super glue, a little dab. Basically, it's kind of hold this wing in place on his back.
And just do a wrap here just to hold it down. Oh, I have it here, I'm gonna trim it. I have to trim those legs, which I do cut the legs off all the time. If that's the case, just bring your string back and wrap them again. Just trim here, make sure. Okay, it's actually off a little bit. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes and I'm pretty. I do this all the time. I check both sides of the bug. I mean, we're looking at the right side of the bug. Once in a while, you gotta flip this bug over and make sure you're doing the same on both sides. So this time there's a, there's a lot of wing over here and not enough over here. So let's you want to double check yourself. No big deal. If it's not right, take it apart. Do it again if you can. Let's do it right there. Yep, that's better. Good wraps. That ain't going anywhere. What we're gonna do here now. Being real careful with the string legs. What I do here now is I'm coming up above the hook. And I'm going to trim out the head again, right above the eye, the hook. Make sure the top hook's good. To tie the antenna. The antenna is pretty simple. Uh, I've actually able to find small pieces of uh, stiff plastic fibers. I mean, you use whatever you can find that will work. Then what I, what I do is poke a hole. These antennas are going to go, so it's kind of aimless to me a little bit. Get a nice hole in there, and another hole on an angle. Okay, I'm going to put a little super glue. Have a little super glue on a ball. I mean, not a piece of, piece of foam or something. You don't have to use a lot. I'm not going to leave a lot now. Just do because we're down to where we just have to do the eyes. And push it into the hole. Leave it there. Okay. A little glue here. Okay, I'm going to get it sort of even. Okay, so there's our antennas. Now let's do our eyes. Eyes, same thing. We're going to do one eye at a time. Okay, I'm using a smaller bat bead. And uh, I really like these for the eye, and I'll show you why. Okay, the, what I'm doing here is if you look at these, I'm going to use some tweezers. They have a little hole in them. Okay, that's from when you thread them for the bath bead. It's a little hole out. So get a little glue on there. Set them on there. Put the top part of the head. OK, 
you know. There we go. Okay. And I'll show you why in a second that this works, that I really like these. Okay, so once he's on there, give him a second to dry. I'm going to come over and I'm going to take a little piece, a little head cement, okay? And I'm going to fill it in the hole. Fill in the hole with a little head cement until it overlaps. This is going to bond it on there. But as you can see here, but it, it bonds it, fills in that hole. And it makes a pretty secure connection right there. So it dries really fast. So we can get the next eye ready. Okay, he's here, he's in there now. So let's give him a minute to dry and grab on. There we go, and that's going to do the same for this guy. Okay, we're almost done. We're going to whip finish this up, and then we should have a done bug. Give it a minute to set in there. Okay, now I'm pretty close to the Hook guy, so probably do this nice and slow. Make sure I don't get any of his any of his feet tangled in. Now we're looking at the Finished fly, it's nice and organized on the bottom, nice and neat. When you'll see my lizard and my cicada and stuff like that, those are a little bit more difficult. Again, you can do this on a smaller hook and do the smaller size. I just do it here because it's easier to, to show, and that's it. Hey, thanks again for joining. Uh, make sure you check out some of our other videos. This is George with Fun with Flies. Have a good day. Stay safe.